everyone, Mr. Hissner here, and today we are going to be looking at what I call compound um, compound special right triangles. So these are triangles that are kind of mashed together. One thing you'll note um, is that now there's this new video lesson format. I'm combining the two, the video lesson and the classwork as one um, in the same page, so then we can kind of see the video uh, in, as displayed with the classwork. So this is kind of the first go of this new um, this new format. Okay, so let's see. Here is our first. Here is our first compound, compound um, right triangle. So you'll notice that we are given some stuff. So over here is our is our 30, 60, 90 here in blue, and then how about this one in yellow? So here's our 45, 45, 90. Um, and what do we see here? Well, remember your reference triangle. For this would be the, the short leg. This is the hypotenuse is two times the short leg. I'm just gonna abbreviate this as SL. And then this is the short leg square root three. Um, and then over here we have our, our leg, our leg, and then our leg times the square root of two. And so we're gonna use these structures to kind of get to, um, to kind of get to these uh, solutions. There we go, move me out of the way. There we go. So let's look. Um, here we're given 17, we're given 17 down here, and we wanna think, okay, well, what is the measure of X? Well, that 17 is the short leg, X is the long leg, so X will be 17 square root three. Um, and now you might be thinking, well, how in the world are we gonna get all the way over here to these two values? Well, one way that we can think of this is just kind of filling in the rest of these values because notice that the hypotenuse and the the leg, uh, the hypotenuse of the 60, of the 30, 60, 90, and the leg of the 45, 45, 90, the one that I'm really highlighting here, um, they're the same, they're a shared side. And so whatever the value of the one is, the value of the other must be as well. And so uh, this is just gonna be two times our short leg. So our short leg is 17, so this is gonna be two times 17, which is 34. Okay, so remember, long leg was short leg square root three, short leg was 17, so this is 17 square root three. Um, hypotenuse is two times the short leg, so just 34. So we know that Z, here we go, we have one leg, we know that both these legs have to be the same, so this is gonna be 34. And then finally, we know that the hypotenuse, Y, let's do the hypotenuse, how about in like blue? So we know the hypotenuse y is gonna be 34 with just a root two on it. And so the idea here is that we kind of start on one side and just kind of flop around, right? We know one value. Well, we know that you know we can use our reference triangle to find the other ones, right? This is just gonna be two. And then once we have this value, one of the legs, then we can use our reference triangle to find the other ones for the other triangle. Okay. Let's see one that is more difficult, that, might, that involves just a couple more steps. So here we go. Now this one looks more difficult, but I assure you it's not. Um, just remember that we need our reference triangle. So over here we have our 30, 60, 90, and it looks like this one is 27. Um, and then over here again, this is a 90. So this one again is gonna be a 30, 60, 90. So instead of one and the other, it's still a 30, 60, 90. Um, so just our reference is going to be the short leg, short leg times two, short leg square root three. Well, uh, luckily for us, or unlucky for us rather, between 30 and the square root sign is where the root three is supposed to be. So what we need to do is how we would uh, multiply by root three to get the, the long leg. We need to divide by root three to get the short leg. And so what that's gonna look like is 27 divided by square root three. Um, this is an issue because we're not allowed to have square roots in the denominator. So we need to multiply the top and bottom, the top and bottom by root three, but this is a lot easier than it sounds, mainly because uh, it's very predictable, it happens the same way every time. The denominator comes up to the numerator, and then if you think about, or if you remember, 
how multiplication works with these radicals is the multiplication happens under the square root sign. And so this is actually the, the square root of nine, which is just three. Um, and so 27 divided by three, this is a number. Is that a number? What number is that? Can I? Nine, right? Yeah, nine root three. Okay, so we know that this short side is nine root three. So now I'm still working on this triangle over here. So now I know my short side is nine square root three and x, which is the hypotenuse, this is two times the short side. So this is just two times nine, which is 18 square root three. So x is actually 18 square roots three. Okay, so let me kind of zoom this out just a little bit so I can redraw another reference triangle here. Okay, so this one that now I have is nine square roots three. Oh, but wait a second. The short, the, the long leg is actually supposed to look like this, right? It's just the short leg times square root three. So for us, this problem actually gets a lot easier towards the end because now we can see, okay, well Z, this one just has to be nine because it's the short leg with, uh, it's the long leg without the root three. And then for the hypotenuse, it's just two times the short leg, which would just be 18. So just kind of collecting all of our terms here. This is uh, 18 root three. This is uh, x, y was 18, and um, z is nine. I'm just gonna, I just wanna look at, just quickly, I'm just gonna look at, um, let's say this was 21 divided by root three. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you what the answer is. This is going to be 21 divided by three times root three. So I'm just gonna divide by the number inside the square root sign and then just slap whatever that square root is onto the back. So 21 divided by three is seven. I'm just gonna slap this on the back. Uh, and why do I do that? Well, because like I said, after you do a couple of these, uh, you really start to see that there's, there's a pattern so this is gonna be 21 times three, it's just 21 root three. Uh, and again, root three times root three is three times three, which is nine, square root of nine is just three. And then we divide like this. But notice what happened. 21 divided by three is seven. And then what's left over? The square root of three. Um, so the idea here, how I, once you do about five of these, you can just start doing them in your head because it's just 21 divided by three, slap the square root sign on it. Um, the only issue that you get here is if it's like 23 divided by three, well, this would just be 23 divided by three, slap the square root on it. You just don't reduce it. Um, it's just stuck like that. So. I, I do think that as you go through these, they don't get as difficult just because the computations are so predictable. All right, guys, thanks for watching.